That's right, Sky Rockets in flight at the Roanoke Pinball Museum. I hope my quarantine hair is holding up okay. Who cares, right? Anyway, hi, it's Saturday at Roanoke Pinball Museum. We're gonna go over, let me lean over here, uh, one of my favorite games, um, Skyrocket, 1971 by Bally. And it's got a few reasons why it's a, a special game. First of all, even though it is a ballet. It was designed by Harry Williams. Why? Toward the end of his career, Harry Williams agreed to design two games for ballet. And both of them, strangely enough, had firework themes. Don't know why, but go on to go out with a bang, right? But Skyrocket is one and Firecracker is the other one. And of the two, Skyrocket is uh, definitely the harder one to find of the two and I think has um, a little bit better gameplay as well. But uh, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. This cabinet, um, you can see it's kind of a one player size cabinet, but it's a two player um, within it. So that makes it kind of interesting. It does use bells. It is not quite a chimes game, even though it's from 71. And um, it has um, quite an interesting marquee. The, the artist, I'm not sure who did it, uh, because even though you see these pointy elbows here you think, oh, it's uh, Christian Marsh. Not not necessarily. It's uh, it's not credited to anyone just yet, so I don't, we're still trying to figure that out, but um, pretty classic artwork, and um, of course, and if you want one of these t-shirts, just send me a private message and I'll send it out to you, whatever. But um, the main claim to fame of this game is that, aside from being a fun game, it has the best light show in EM Pinball. The end. No contest. The best. Because look at all these inserts. They all are connected to a um, to, to the same mechanism that powers those rotating lights on Fireball. You've seen it's just the constant motion um, wiper fingers that travel across all the rivets like that. That's what makes and breaks these little light connections. Same thing on, on bow and arrow. You remember at the top when you shoot the ball and you've got that one, two, three, four, five thing going? There's also a little rotating motor in there. So that's what controls this as well. It's kind of a ballet signature feature. But on this one, just look at the sheer number of inserts that you have for this effect. I mean, this is just crazy. So I've had this touched up and clear coated because. Um, the, 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 the inserts were all shrunk and it was just not traveling well. So it just it needed the full deluxe treatment. And of course, clear coating your game is a, it's a big pain in the ass. You have to pull all the parts off the front and the back. And um, some people don't pull the parts off the back, but I, I think it's better to do it that way. Take all that stuff off and then touch it up and spray it and wet sand it and spray it, wet sand it and spray it. And wet, I mean, and then you put, it's a, monumental task, but the result is you have this luxurious, permanent, beautiful, better than new, actually, surface that um, will, will last another generation, longer than any of us here um, will last, and we can pass it on to our, uh, you know, pass it on to the next generation. So it's, it's something that I, I kind of like to do whenever I have the time possible to do it. Um, but um, I'm gonna go over some of the gameplay now. We'll play a two-player game. And this game, it has, it has quite a few features. It has a gate over here that if you uh, open this gate and shoot the ball and hit that, it will unlock that. So there's a extra measure of safety you can get there. Um, in general, the scoring is all about the skyrocket. So uh, you can see each of these values has uh, 1,000, 3,000, or 5,000 associated with it. Um, so you collect that by either going into these two collect skyrocket areas, or if you drain out, you also collect it that way. And kind of like Surfside we talked about the other, the other day, um, this one also has a, a little kicker in it. Um, there's an extra ball light at the very bottom of the, of the fireworks show. Uh, you get an extra ball. So if you leave that lit, you can kind of you can kind of run the table a little bit. Um, but it's kind of hard to do that. Um, 
And then of course there are shots here to put the post up, kind of protects your flippers or protects the ball here. And um, of course that's gonna go down really quickly because there's these two rebounds drop it back down again. So it's up, 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 there's a lot of actions, very fast. I've got upgraded flipper coils in them. So they're a little bit faster than usual games, a little bit faster. But um, yeah, this game is really one of my top three EMs, I think, uh, that I own. So um, with the Freedom Prototype being number one, probably Old Chicago number two, and then Skyrocket number three. So all ballets uh, up there. But, um, be, you know, everybody likes what they like. That's fun. Uh, but there's... Um, yeah, there's quite a lot of speed, a lot of strategy here. We'll get into it, play a two-player game, and we'll just see how it goes. And I'm sorry I can't see your questions because it's a one-way thing, but it's either that or you see everything backwards and it's worse. So, yeah, I'm doing it for you. All right. Anyway. <laughs> okay, and let's queue up a two-player game. You can see there. And let's go. Now only the 3000 is lit, that will start the skyrocket, you can see that, look at that, isn't that cool? That is just the coolest thing ever. Okay, I'm going to try and collect it there, there we go, it's on 5000, 5000 is very good, so I am going, oh, alright, alright, hold it, hold it, hold it, I'm going to keep it on 5000, you can backhand it, oh, but it's risky, oh, man. uh oh, get up there. Oh goodness, and I only get a thousand on the way out because um, it changed and collected on the way out. Now it's player uh, two's turn, and you can see the two up is lit over there. So we're going to try and go through that middle lane to start the skyrocket because uh, a thousand just isn't very much. Really we want it to be on the one of the five thousand spaces. So let's see what we can do here. Yes, we got that. Oh no, no, oh, nothing I can do there. And it stopped on the 3000, which is okay. Let's try and get that gate open, see if we can open this uh, gate over here. And it's, yes, it's gonna start. Come on. All right, oh, 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 oh. It's pretty zingy, okay, hold on. Now we gotta hit, to open the gate, you can do it here, or here, or here, and I think that's it. I think those are the three places to hit that, uh, that gate open. So I'm going to hit one of these targets if I'm lucky. Got it open, okay. Collect it again. I'm going to try and shoot. Oh, there we go. 3,000. Now when it's like this, you can just tap it over. Oh yeah, got it. Got that shot on live camera just so you can see my skills. Okay, so now we got this open. Now we're gonna get greedy. Let's just start, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, so much for that. Maybe we shouldn't have been so greedy, okay. All right, back to player two. Got one of those pops lit. 3,000 there. Another 3,000 there. And try for that gate again. Oop. Whoa, another 3,000. Wow, thank you so much. Oop. Come on. Oh, it's going out. Three, okay. So ball three, uh, 17 to 14. Neither player are really doing that great. Let's go a little further here. All right, random again. Let's get that board. Yeah, 3,000 okay. We want to do better than that. Start it up again, there we go. Oh no, it's gonna go out. Oh, but I got the extra ball, ha ha ha. You see that? So if that lights and you collect it on the way out, you get to shoot again. Only gives you a thousand points, but it's still a fun, fun little turnabout. All right, thank you very much. Don't, yes, you can preserve, oops. Didn't hit that, that script well enough, okay. I'm gonna try and get another extra ball. Oh, come on, come on. Now, if it goes out again, I'm going to get another extra ball. Yep, because it's it's still lit. As long as it stays there, you can hang on to it as long as you want. Oh, so now it's gone. All right. Uh, one 
thousand. Nobody wants a thousand. Come on. Oh, it's going out. All right. Now I also have it set where you get a free ball at 30,000 and 45,000. So we'll probably see that with player one in a minute here. Player two's got some catching up to do. Looks like that skirt needs to be adjusted up there. You see it's a little not responding up there. Easy enough. Oh, and a thousand and out. All right. Now we'll get that 30,000 and get a free ball if we can. Gates open. Uh oh, come on, come on, give me, give me that up post. No, okay. I'm gonna try and make that gate shot. Okay. Let's get that skyrocket started again. Uh huh. We'll go for the gate. Oh yeah, got it. Okay, now don't go out. Okay, it's okay. It's okay to go out. Oh. Do a little tip. And you can see I got the shoot again because we got our. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got it back. Got that for the 30,000. Player one is just off to the races here. Still a really, it's a difficult game to roll. Very difficult game to roll. Even though you think, well, I'll just monopolize, I'll just keep like doing this all day, right? Well, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Well, hey, maybe I will. Uh-oh, see, it gets away from you like that. And then, yeah, see, so. But I get to shoot again. And I get an extra ball at 45,000, so this, this is going to go. This, this is a really good round. All right. You can see how smoothly that clear coat plays. It just looks great, plays great. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, nothing. Okay, that's for the 45,000. No more extra balls, but I'm over 50,000. Not bad at all. Okay, come on. Give me that. Uh-oh, I should just, why am I being greedy? Just, just trap it. Come on. Oh no, that's not, I'm being impatient here. Oh, okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. Just get up there, oh, get up there. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, no! Oh, darn it. Gets away from you. Gets away from you. I'm sure Keith Elwin could probably monopolize this forever, but I am not him. Okay. Okay. Let's keep go. Oh, wow. Look at that. Nothing you can do. Oh. And ball five, 56 to 15. You never know. He could have a turnaround. But the odds are against it. Odds are against it. Oh, good save. They're 5,000. I love it. I love it. All right. Let's see how high we can go. Come on, come on, hold it. Right there. Let's go for another backhand on the five. Yes! It. And another five. Oh my gosh, it's good. Oh, that's it. But 76 is good. That's quite good for a spontaneous game. Okay. And now, it's all up to player two. Let's see it go. Oh, oh, got the extra ball. Now something can happen here. Something can happen, that's okay. Keep going. The problem with this, of course, is they were smart enough to figure out that if you leave this lit and somebody just monopolizes the table, it's only a thousand points. So you're not gonna really run away with the score. If it was extra ball plus 5,000, then it would be really unbalanced. But Harry Williams, he, he was smart to say, well, well, we'll let you keep the ball for a little while, but we're not gonna let you just dominate the game. So that's, that's a, that was, that was smart to make that just a thousand. Okay. All right, don't go. Okay, good. So I have outlane protection right now. That's fine. As long as it doesn't go down the middle, I am invincible. Can play as long as I want, as long as I don't start the skyrocket. Which I will not do if I, oh, and there it starts. Okay, well, so much for that. It's got just enough chaos in it. Okay, so what's the smart thing to do right now? Well, I want that post back. Uh, maybe I'll just try and roll over it. No, it didn't do it. Okay. The thousand points there. Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, good. Just roll. Oh, and it got canceled again. Oh, and that's not going to save me 5,000. Oh, and oh, just short of 50, or 30. Almost got an extra ball for player two and could have gone further. But that's it. No match on the 60. 
And so there you go. You can see it's just it's just a great game that just goes back and forth. Again, love that um, kind of ability for that wild card to kind of throw off the order of play. So just a really, really cool game. Uh, the IPDB says that there's only 545 of these. I don't know if that's correct. I've, I've been seeing a lot of them turn up and the serial numbers, some of them are going higher than, uh, than five, 550. So that might be wrong. I, I don't know for sure, but I'm, I, I hope so because I, I think everyone should try and have one of these if they can. It's a really terrific example of a, of a ballet game. It's uh, got a lot of fast movement and uh, just a really good single player or uh, multiplayer. So um, I do have LEDs in here. That's what kind of makes these pop. And of course, um, very carefully color matched. Uh, not necessarily, you don't necessarily want to color match, you know, just because something is green, you don't necessarily put a green light behind it. That's not, it's not that simple. You want to see what the overall effect is. So uh, some of these actually have warm whites and not yellow, because the yellow LEDs are a little dull and they contribute a kind of a artificial color. So, so some of these are warm whites. Some of these are, I think the blues are blues, and I think the rest are probably just uh, regular warm white. And maybe even the whites might even be like a, a natural sunlight. Uh, not, you know, Comet has the sunlight, which is that in between cool and the warm. So might be that way, but um, you have to just, you know, I always strive to, when I LED them, to uh, preserve the original character as much as possible, but um, provide the benefits of LED. Like, oh, this is LED, and those are your LED flashers, because they're a little, you know, they're kind of fast, and you don't have to worry about them burning out or whatever. And they're bright like everything else. These are all warm whites, and then frosteds. And then, uh, but, but under the plastics, wherever you see uh, a filament bulb, like here, your eye, you know, directly sees a filament is where I will put a 47. So that's, you know, for years I've been talking about this stealth recipe. Well, that's, that's kind of my recommended, that's what I do at the museum. It's like kind of best of both worlds kind of thing. So, um, so that is basically all there is to it. Uh, thanks again for spending another uh, afternoon with us here. Of course, we got to check our watch. It's the, <laughs> you can't see that. It's a Seiko uh, 166, SNE 166 Solar. And uh, there is a kind of com community of people who are like watch and EM people because there's, there's some similar kind of things going on in there with the gears and stuff. But anyway, that's, that's on pin side, there's a thread about that. But uh, you guys, um, I'll keep them coming. I've got a lot of other games here I can go over and um, hope you're staying safe and working on your games and, and you know, we'll keep our fingers crossed till our, till our opening day. So thanks for supporting us and we'll see you next time.